Mies van der Rohe's Barcelona Pavilion is an example of fluid spatial composition and minimalist detailing. Much of the design composition was based on elements of the site. The slope, which would place the pavilion on a raised level like a stage, the route across the site, which aligned with the central axis of the Grand Plaza, the north wall of the adjacent Plau Victoria Eugenia Palace, and the row of Ionic columns also centered on the axis. In his design, Mies rejected the axial symmetry because it was a key characteristic of neoclassical architecture and a symbol of authoritarianism. This goes directly against the design intent. The pavilion for the international exhibition was supposed to represent the new Weimar Germany, democratic, culturally progressive, prospering, and pacifist. He used architecture in support of the political climate of a nation trying to reinvent itself. Mies was also inspired by classical architecture and philosophy. You can see this in his choice of materials, which ranges from travertine to polished marble and rare onyx. There is also influence from the 17th century architect Friedrich Schinkel, whose work Mies admired in the Altes Museum in Berlin, which also had ionic columns. His design philosophy was to demonstrate that architecture is not only visual appearance and sculptural form, but also a tool to orchestrate an experience. Using the position of the walls to interrupt the set axial route, the pavilion makes people pause so that they may experience a kind of architectural space that is different than the one ordered by the axis of symmetry of the site. There is also an overarching theme of reflection. The serene and museum-like qualities of the space, as well as the literally reflective surfaces of the glass and polished stone, reinforce this concept. The Barcelona Pavilion is necessary for all architects to understand because it is a prime example of restrained, impactful architecture. The design sparked a renewed interest for purist modernism. It is simple and refined in a way that allows you to see the architecture for what it is and what it stands for, beauty, innovation, and progress.